Hey what's up guys, TFC here and welcome to my video series on making tracks for MXB. Um, I'm planning on going from the start to the finish making a replica track. We're going to start with the basics, uh, move on to the more advanced stuff as we get through it. Um, you guys don't have to follow these videos all the way or do everything the same as me. This is just my method. Um, hopefully though this will help get more people involved in making tracks. Alright so let's get started. So there's a bunch of choice when it comes to what software you can use to make tracks. Uh, if you can afford it, you can use things like Photoshop and 3ds Max. Um, but this tutorial is based around the way I do it and all the software I use is free. So what you're going to need is Notepad++, a decent text editor. Uh, GIMP, which is kind of like a Photoshop equivalent. Google Earth. L3DT. And Blender. Now a quick note on Blender, um, the interface has changed massively for version 2.8, it's had a complete overhaul. Uh, personally I still use 2.77. If you're familiar with a new interface or you know what you're doing with Blender then this doesn't matter. Um, I'm stuck in the past really and I'll be using 2.77 for these vids. Um, I'll put a link down in the description for it for anyone who's new to it and wants to follow along with what I'm doing. Um, but just remember, I'm not going to go too deep into Blender, as in making objects. Um, that's something you guys can figure out for yourself. There's literally hundreds of tutorials out there. Um, I'll be showing you how to import your height map as a mesh, use it as a guide for object placement. I might make some basic stuff. Um, and I'll also be showing you how to export your objects, uh, naming conventions, all that kind of stuff. Alright, so we're going to start by heading over to uh, the MX Bikes forum and you want to go down track editing and right at the top there the pinned topic MXB track modding tools and docs and we are going to grab the example track files so we're going to save that and we want the track tools as well we're just going to open that because that's a quick download Okay, so now that's downloaded, open up the zip. Um, we're going to make a new folder on our desktop. I mean, this can be anywhere, but we're going to do it here. And I'm going to call this test track, or one word. Uh, so let's start by copying in everything from that zip file over into our test track folder. All right, so really the best place to start looking is in the README. Um, this folder comes with a, a README written by Piboso and this gives you a breakdown step-by-step -step instruction on how to get this track into game. Um, so let's start by looking at this. So first thing it says is copy terrain ed and track ed into this folder. Now these are two additional track tools that we're going to need so let's copy track ed and the font in and we're also going to grab terrain ed and we're also going to grab map view which will come in handy later. So we can close that. So if you have a look here, first thing it says is run trh.bat. Now what that does is that generates a track collisions file. Um, next step is run centerline.bat and that merges a centerline, which is basically your track path, onto your collisions file. And the third step is run map.bat to generate the graphics and the shadows, so the way your track looks. Um, and that is basically everything you need to do to get this track into game and that is the basics of compiling a track from your development folder into your game folder. Now everything you see here in this route is your development stuff. Um, so you've got a raw height map there, you've got um, these track HMF and THT files control your configuration, um, you've got your, your processes like map.bat, trh.bat, uh, centerline.bat and then you've got over here you've got a maps folder now this contains masks texture tiles and normals um, that are going to be used on your track and then you've got an example folder at the top now this is the the game folder uh, this folder is going to go into your mods tracks folder and everything you see in here is going to be used by the game so let's start by setting this up for us um, and our track so for this example i'm going to rename this to test track we're going to go in and rename every example file to test track. So select them all, rename test track. Now we're going to have to go into the 
any file because this has a, a name in here so we're going to call that test track and the short name is going to match that's going to be test track save that and close now that's everything we need to do in here and we're going to come out and we're going to have a look at these processes so map.bat if we edit that in notepad plus plus you can see it has a certain set of instructions and it's still referencing our example folder we did have so we now have test track and the map is called test track also so we need to rename that and we're going to save and close and we're going to do the same in trh.bat so example folder to test track and track name and save that and we're going to do the same in centerline.bat which also references the example folder and the example trh file save that and close so everything's renamed now when we run it uh, when we go to compile our track it will be compiling in the right place so let's have a look let's go into our test track folder we're going to remove the map file which is the graphics file and we're going to remove the trh file which is the collisions file I'm going to delete both of those we'll come back out and we'll follow these instructions so run trh.bat we're going to run that and now in our test track we've now got test track.trh so that's that's worked next job is uh run centerline.bat so running that will apply the centerline onto our trh collisions file and the next job is run map.bat so let's run that now this can take a minute right now that's complete we'll go and have a look in our test track folder and we have test track dot map so everything is now in there we've created the files that have automatically compiled them in the correct place so we're now going to copy our test track folder go to our mods tracks folder and paste a copy of it in so now our test track is in our final game folder so let's load up MX bikes and check it out alright so here we go we can see our test track and here we are now I'm not going to run any laps for the sake of it um, you guys can compile this yourself and check it out for yourselves but that shows that basically we run the processes we compile the files in the right place in the track folder and then we can copy that track folder into our mods tracks folder and get our custom track working in game so let's return to the desktop alright so that about wraps up this part um, coming up next time we're going to be importing our own height map we're going to be looking at capturing our own replica terrain in that height map uh, and we're going to be taking a proper look at the HMF and THT files and textures. Uh, so thanks for watching guys. If you want to keep up to date with this series or any of my other content, please subscribe. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely helps. Catch you later.